Sue, your instructor here. I hope you're all okay, keeping well, keeping moving, and doing whatever you can to keep sane in this mad, mad world. Um, and we're here to try and help you a little bit to bring you some normality because we're missing those exercise classes. So this is our joint effort video. So it's not going to be a long video, but just something to start you off hoping to put some more videos on. Um, do take a look at the website because there will be other videos there. You may fancy doing something else. You may fancy, um, you know, some stretching and some toning and some Pilates. So they're there for you to try. Um, so we're going to start off by, uh, we will do our warm up. Now you can do this seated or standing. I am going to stand for the time being. I'm going to use the chair as my prop. Um, but we'll start off warming up, get the circulation going before we do the, the exercise properly. So we'll aim to make it 15 to 20 minutes and nothing too long, something doable. Okay, softness in the knees, tummy tucked in, feet shoulder width apart, bottom tucked in as well, everything nice and relaxed, breathe rhythmically throughout and just enjoy. Okay. Hands down by your side, we're going to bring our shoulders up towards our ears, shoulder shrugs, let them sink down, two more, down and up we go, up towards the ears and down, we're going to make this the last one now, standing nice and tall, we're now going to roll our shoulders backwards, One more, and then we're going to roll forwards. So this session is going to be based on the joint effort. So we're looking at trying to keep those joints nice and mobile, primarily hips and knees. But later on, um, in some of the other videos, we'll look at some of the other joints. So, righty ho. Okay, so we're going to do our side bend. So that's sliding your hand down side, keeping the softness in your knees and down to the other side. So there we go, reaching down. Don't force it though, just going down as far as is naturally possible for you at the moment. The more exercise you do, you'll be able to go further, but we don't want that now, we're just warming up one more each side. So this is my last one, nice and straight, not leaning forwards or backwards, hands in the don't shoot me position. <laughs> And we're going to do an upper body rotation. Bottom bit stays facing forward. So when you're ready, follow me. We're going to turn around one way. So as you can see, the hips stay facing forward. Back to centre, other side. Bring yourself back to the middle, little pause. And around we go again. One more each side just to try and warm the upper back up, get the circulation going, and bring your hands down. We're now going to do a bit of marching just to finally try and get that blood circulating to those muscles. Nice march, open that chest out, strong march, using your arms, pumping your arms, that will get the blood flowing. And stop it there, we're just going to do a side step. I am going to move this chair out of the way so that you can see me better. <coughs> just a side step. And just pulling your arms back. Just to move it a little bit. And then chest high, pulling back. Pulling back. Now make it a row back. There you go, a little bit of coordination going on there. I can't even coordinate my words, come on. <laughs> so pulling back, row back. Okay, pulling it down now, folks. Sideways, pull down, pull down. Get that blood moving towards those upper limbs, arms in the air, your heart's got to work a little bit harder. And bring them down. Okay, so obviously if you've got shoulder problems, don't go up here, just keep it nice and low, be, be uh, low your shoulder level, that's fine, take your arms out, 
and just back to a march, nice march. And then when you're ready, just very slow kneeling. So now just go as far as is comfortable for you. Slow kneeling. And then placing your feet down on the floor, I'm going to do a step back, which means that this back leg is straight. I'll show you from the side. It looks like this. Step back, straight leg here. Push it forward. Other leg, straight back. You feel a stretch at the back. So we're going to keep that moving. I'm going to keep those uh, movements going at the moment because we are just warming up at the moment. So straight at the back. Last one, okay. Back to a march. And then we're going to take our heel up towards our bottom. Hamstring curl. You feel a little bit of tightness here. Nice and tall, hamstring curl. You can bring your arms into it again. So here we go. I'm used to doing this to music, so there's that little bounce in it. You don't have to do that. You can just step it like that. So four, three, two, one. Okay, back to a march. And I think we're good to go. So, right, let's crack on then, folks. So I've got my chair. First of all, before we do anything else, sit to stand. This. If you've done um, the uh, programs that we've had on, you'll know that we uh, try and fit in our sit to stands because they're very, very important. So, nice sturdy chair. Back here. And some of it is a bit of technique, and also you will notice if you have a chair low down, it's a lot harder to get up out of than a high chair. So it depends some of this on the chair that you've got. Some people do have to put something underneath them to bring them up, especially people with, who are very tall and long legs. Okay, this is a normal height chair. Bit of technique here, nice and tall, forward on your chair and slightly tucking those feet underneath you. Not too far back, but just enough. And then you'll pitch yourself forward with a nice straight back. Everything will be straight. Try and use your legs if you can. Um, you may have arms on your chair. If you have to use those arms, um, you know, because uh, that's the only way you can do it, then, then so be it. But the alternative, if you find it really, really difficult, you can do these little motions as if you're going to get yourself up, but don't. Just keeping your back straight and your tummy in. You can do those instead. But we're going to go for the full sit to stand, and we're going to do eight of those. So when you're ready, Sit to stand, okay. So here we go. Up we go and down, controlling it down. So that's one. Nice long back, straight here and down we go. Pushing it up, using those legs and controlling it down. A little tip here if you find that you're going to just fall down, just try clenching everything down here, holding your stomach in, and it's somehow just puts the anchor on gravity. So, we've got three more. We're coming up to our last one, so make this a good one. Nice and controlled, up we go. Squeeze, weight into the heel, straight, and take it back down. Lovely, well done everybody. And those are the sit to stands out of the way. So if you can, try and do these every day. Uh, we do anyway, I know we're getting up and down all the time, but try and pop some extra ones in. That'll help you. Okay, using that method that we've just done, bring yourselves up to standing. I'm gonna go behind the chair, but I'll turn my chair sideways on so that you can see. Still concentrating on the lower half. In fact, I'm gonna turn around this way because it's easier for you to see. Okay, so I've got my feet hip width apart. And I'm going to do some knee bends. So that means um, we start bending here at the hips, push your bottom out. The bend transfers to your knees. You're keeping your back nice and long. We're going to aim for eight to ten of those. Uh, I'll just do you a few demos and then you can carry on. You may want to stop the video. 
carry on do your eight to ten or however many you can manage. Uh, the more often you do this, the better you will get at it. So let's give it a go. So behind your chair, if you need to hold onto the chair, that's fine. I'm going to do it without. So here we go. So straight down, knees are bending, hips are bending, bottoms pushing out. The weight is now going into the back of my heels. I can feel my toes. Everything's straight, pushing up weight, push the floor away from you and off you go. And down. Push it straight, straight and up. I know your knee bends, so uh, try eight to ten. If you're feeling um, really full of energy, you can have yourselves a little break and then repeat that. So you'll have done two sets, two sets of eight to ten or however many that you can manage. Okay, I'm going to stay in this position to show you the next one. So we're going to take that leg for a rear extension, nice and straight. You can hold on to your chair if you want, very lightly. Upright, leg straight back. Squeeze here and down. Same leg, a little bit of softness on the standing leg. I'll show you forwards. Just taking it straight back, softness on this leg. You're going to feel it on your standing leg as well, so it's actually uh, strengthening the leg that you're standing on as well. Take it back, squeeze your bottom there. You'll feel those muscles contracting. That brings your leg up. And you're going to aim for eight to ten. If you find that your lower back is hurting, some people do with this, just try tucking your pelvis under slightly and then take it out. Don't take it out so far. Um, if you're doing that, you will feel it in your lower back, so try not to do that, tuck it under and take it straight out. Of course, we've got to do the other side, so same thing again. Straight back, nice and tall and upright. Just trying to move the leg alone. Try not to haul it up with your body, anything like that. So again, aim for eight to ten of those, so I'll let you do those in your own time. And from behind like that and from this side as well I'm trying to show you every angle because it is difficult in a confined space so such so a rear leg extension then equally we're going to work here so laterally we'll take our leg out to the side so keeping nice and upright tummy in softness in this leg if you need to have your hand very very gently on this chair I'm going to lift my leg up you can put your foot down in between and for those of you that feel very confident you can just do it without placing your foot down just touch keep you nice and tall try not to haul your leg up like this we're controlling it up we're using all these muscles here strengthening the hip strengthening the knee so eight to ten and then other side i'm going to do it over here without much to support me, so out we go. Softness in this leg. I'm taking it out. Okay, so that's your lateral sideways raises. Working the hips and working the knees, so strengthening all around. And we're going to do some city uh, leg exercises. Lovely one. Leg out of the bed. Forward on your chair, nice and upright. You're taking a leg out and you're going to try and write the alphabet. Now, we usually time this for about a minute. So, um, what I will do is I'll put my leg out, I'll start writing some letters. You may not know what the letters are, but start writing my alphabet. I'll just start you off because it's going to be monotonous for you watching me doing ABC. Um, you do your alphabet, give yourself a minute if you want to, or if you're feeling really up for it, you can try it in, a, in a, a half a minute. Up to you, leg out. So I'm going to start off by my A and my B, and so on, so on. And if you look, you can see that I'm just using my leg, nothing's moving around. You will feel it there. If you need to put your leg down, 
give it a rub, that's fine. And you're going to do the same thing on the other leg. You can't have the odd. You've got to have the same amount of work on the other side to try and balance you out because otherwise you get muscle imbalances and that can create problems in itself. So. And I've got to F there. So start to feel it there in those muscles in the quads. They do go tight. Um, so give yourselves a little bit of a rub. Okay, just bring yourselves up. Just do a few little balance exercises and try and help you. They're very gentle. Um, we always find that we need a little bit of balance as we get um, on in years. Okay, so uh, the first one that we're going to do is, if you can, just keep your knees nice and soft. Here we go. Tail bone tucked in, tummy nice and straight, nice and soft. Have your chair there if it makes you feel better. This foot, take it out in front of you. If that's okay for you, take the heel off the floor, toe, and all the weight is going on this leg. If you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can lift a toe. And what you're going to do is you try and get as long as you can, counting your head or tying yourself. And then you just try and better yourself each time that you do it. Try it on the other leg as well. So, nice softness in the knees, tapping forward, toe on the floor if that uh, gives you, you know, like the confidence. If you're feeling really up for it, you can lift that toe off the floor. You will feel it on the standing leg. You feel a little bit of a wobble, that's all the muscles contracting to keep you nice and stable. And then you challenge yourself, you time yourself um, and uh, try and improve. That could be something that you want to do all throughout this extended period. Just try and build uh, on that and you will get better. Practice does really, really make perfect. Okay, so we're going to do a few little stretches. So taking your hands, placing them on your back. Now I know we've done, we haven't done really any exercises on the upper body but it's always nice to have a stretch so what you'll feel is a stretch across your chest and you feel those uh, shoulder blades trying to meet one another at the back nice deep breaths folks you've done really well so release that off take your hands link your fingers try and pull them apart but don't pull your fingers apart and then just lean your head into that I've got a slight rounding of the upper back and I will feel a stretch all along the shoulder blades. Again, I know we haven't done much work on the upper back, but it really does help get some of that tension out of the upper body. Releasing it off. Okay, I'm going to slide down to the side. If you want to increase that stretch, you take your arm over. So you've got the weight of your arm increasing the stretch here. Bringing it up, I'm going to go onto the other side. Okay, foot out in front, um, heel into the floor, toe up to the ceiling. Back toe, try and bring it in, point it towards your head, really flex it. You're going to feel your calf muscles tighten a little bit. You're going to hold that. If you're not feeling anything, just resting down very gently into that leg. If you're putting yourself on a leg that's not being stretched, don't do this. Here. Place this foot down. Weight into the front, straight leg at the back, both feet facing forward. Weight goes here. If you've got that straight leg at the back, you're going to feel it there. A little bit of a stretch. Other side, here we go. Okay. Heel into the floor, touch the ceiling, resting down into that leg. You'll feel that stretch increase. So you're nearly done. Um, as I say, do have a look at the other videos and we should be putting some more videos on as well. So keep your eye open for that. Placing your foot down. Now we're going to do 
with that stretch here on the back leg. So both feet facing forward. This foot stays on the floor. Weight forward. Get a stretch on the back of the leg and all the way up the back of the leg. Push yourself back up. Link those fingers. You're going to push up. Tuck your tailbone under. So it looks like this. Really reach up, lift your rib cage. You're going to feel a massive stretch there. And bring it down. One final stretch, and lots of people do have problems with this, so don't worry. Um, we're going to stretch our quad muscles out. So have something, you can have the wall, have a chair, and you're going to just bring your foot up. You can use a band or anything, hold on to the bottom of your trousers or your trainer lace or whatever. And you're bringing that foot up, pushing it into your hands. Um, if you roll your hip just slightly, you're going to feel a big stretch across the quad muscles, across the front of the thighs. And for those of you that have you can also go onto the side of your chair side of your chair, hold it onto the back, same, same thing, you're stretching these muscles here. Onto the other side, that's the seated version, standing, rolling the hips just slightly forward, gently releasing it down, a nice deep breath, Bring yourselves up. One more time. Roll those arms round. Shoulder rolls. Wrap your arms around. Big hug. Feel it there. Just one hug. And then release. Give yourselves a big pat on the back. Round of applause. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope to see you again, but do stay safe and stay sane. Bye.